Welcome to Shoujo World Gamers, Josh here, and I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the Nintendo Direct that was just announced. The gaming world has been on the edge of their seat, waiting for Nintendo to join the already released Xbox and PlayStation June showcases. With what is historically the biggest Direct of the year, now last week we got a special Direct for Xenoblade Chronicles 3, which gave us a lot of info on that game, and it is looking awesome. It will be out in a couple weeks, and I'm looking forward to getting my hands on it. But overall, it seemed the gaming community let out a sigh of disappointment that it wasn't the big Nintendo Direct they were hoping for. Well, fast forward to this week, gamers, and we just got the announcement for the next Nintendo Direct happening tomorrow morning. Only, it's not that big Nintendo Direct everyone was hoping for. It's a Nintendo Direct mini partner showcase, focusing on third-party games and will last approximately 25 minutes. Now I'm pretty excited by what we may see in this direct, but a lot of the gaming community seems to be losing their mind. To those gamers that are angry, let me just say, turn off the caps lock and calm down. I do believe a big direct is still imminent, and I think we will see it within the next two weeks. If I'm right, and they are using these smaller showcases to clear out room, this may be a huge direct when we do finally get it. But looking at the partner showcase we are getting, what could we be seeing there? I think there are a few things I feel pretty confident we will see. Hollow Knight Silk Song, maybe. Maybe one of the Persona games that was announced at the Microsoft Bethesda Showcase. I'm really hoping we get that concrete release date for Mario Rabbids Spark of Hope. And hopefully it is this year. Uh, we could see some info about the recently redone pixel remasters of a lot of the older Final Fantasy games coming to the Switch. Also, Maybe we get a better look at Sonic Frontiers that hopefully better represents what I hope that game ends up being. But the big question is, are we going to get something new we have not seen? And if we do, what could it be? I have heard the regular rumors starting to pop up like Grand Theft Auto V, Red Dead Redemption 2, some of those big releases that never made it to the Switch. I think people really want to get portable versions of those games so they can play them on the go. Now I could see Capcom coming in big here with something like a new Resident Evil Switch exclusive or at least timed exclusive, like a new Resident Evil Revelations game. Or maybe this is where Square Enix shows off the sequel to Octopath Traveler. Or a new game in the Dragon Quest world. Any of these would be super awesome games and I would get super excited about them. So there's still things to look forward in tomorrow's Direct. The sky is not falling. There'll always be another Direct coming, and I'm sure we're still going to get some big announcements from Nintendo from, by the end of this year. Anyways, gamers, I want to hear what you guys think. What games are you hoping to see in this Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase? Sound off in the comments and let me know. Also, don't forget to like and share this video. And subscribe to the channel for more gaming content. See you tomorrow, gamers. Until next time, Shoge World out.